God damn it! It was muted. God damn it! It was muted all this time. Oh yeah, I muted it because oh whatever, it doesn't matter anymore now. Hello, dragon guy. That's uh, gonna be hilarious on the footage. As how I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Like I said, it was like I said, but you didn't hear it because it was muted. I'm slightly tired, and that sums it up just fine. Is it I have a slight headache? Oh no, I miss. Oh, gotta live with it. You live, you learn. You live, you learn. A thousand subs. I guess that's true. I don't know what to do once I do get a thousand, though, so... Picked up one of the guy's instruments, which they lost. I do like how I jumped up on those spikes and then up on the platform as a shortcut. What a dumb shortcut. The best part of having two computers to record this is that you'll never know if I'm checking a guide. Because I can just have it open, and no one can see. What is wrong with those dragons? They're just sort of hanging out. They're the most neutral and passive characters in the game, and still like, I'm gonna kill them! Everything in this strange and magical land is horrible and must die. Things are going faster. I remember when it took forever just to get one. Those were the days, because I didn't have to give shit about anything. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming accountable for my actions. Which is the sad, sad truth. Yeah, Sonic is... Ah, uh, yeah. They do talk funny. Especially the lip syncing is off. You can really tell that something went wrong in the budget department. God damn. This game is so finicky, and it gets worse later when they actually start putting demands on what you do. Wait, that's it? Why would you build this? Why would you make that one way? God damn it, now I have to do this. Well, that kind of blows. But I guess it's a motivation to explore the other way first. Next endless legend, I'm gonna go for Draken and try and get a diplomacy one. Wonder is just not that interesting when you think about it. Diplomacy. 
That means kissing a whole lot of butts. These guys are so weird. They look like bug heads. They got these weird boots. So they have sort of a goblinish feel to them. Ugh. I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know. I don't plan those things ahead or anything. They just sort of happen most of the time. So far, just not planning ahead has worked out for me, so... <laughs> Why is he here? You were from the other book. Oh look, it's a chest I can't open because this spell does not appear in this goddamn level yet. You know... This game is so finicky to control, and it has contact damage and enemies with blocking directions. It's like they couldn't fucking pick something and stick with it. Ah, oh, it's so finicky. Even if you use the digital controls, it's still incredibly annoying. It's what we in the video game industry call a bad idea. Okay, so we got both instruments. That's lovely. That's all peachy. Also, it's witch games, not witch games. That implies I'm some sort of Harry Potter person with my witch games. This game is not fun enough to warrant such huge levels that you have to go back to later. Like in Metroid, you usually got away with it because Metroid controls were fun. You were like, yay! I'm being a Metroid! But here, just everything feels weird. All the time. Like that. Like the sprinting doesn't continue when you land hard, but starting a sprint! Requires you to double tap. There's no button. You have the shoulder buttons. This game literally doesn't use the B button for anything other than canceling. So there's all these buttons it could easily just use for some extra controls, but no, no, you still gotta double tap to sprint. Fucking oh man, that's a thing. <laughs> Picking up Dark Souls and then being like, oh, why doesn't the click do with the sprints? Like, you could easily make it the shoulder buttons. Oh look, this enemy that I literally cannot see hurt me. That's fair f gameplay. Dude, you can't use that as an excuse, man. Dutch people get education in English, too. You should know better. You hack fraud. Also, this game later gets like a special attack meter underneath the health bar, and I'm like, uh, that was the point where it's just like, yeah, this game doesn't have. Like, it's the exact same as the original game. Finding Teddy One had just the same sense of the person who made this clearly can make a game. They just don't know how to make a good game. The basic fundamentals are there. It's just that the execution's fucking garbage. Which kind of reminds you of George Lucas. The fundamentals are there, but it's fucking trash. I think George Lucas needs is someone to point him in the right direction, tell him what to do. Similarly, the people who made this game could use a fucking dictionary, because they misspell words sometimes and have weird phrasings. You want? Wow, oh god damn it, I'm supposed to translate this? I want to pass. Okay, I need a f 
three letter, four letter word. I don't have any. It's not Hasauda. It's not Aira. That's the village, right? Or is that the person who wants to kill everyone? Just can't be please. Did I not learn this word? Let me guess. I have to go back to the fucking village and return the fucking gra garbage. Can't be passed because that's yeah. <sighs> I need a YouTube banner. I do. That's all you're gonna get out of me because I know where the fuck to get one or how to get one or what I want for a banner. Especially that last one. I know what I want for a banner. I don't really care. Now we can walk all the way back! And there's no way to do this faster! I just noticed that this perspective on this instrument is just garbage. Look at this! We can see- Oh, that's not- Here's a tip. That's not how squares work. Well, technically it would be, but that implies that the character is ridiculously close to the object. Dude, I don't know what I want for banner! If I go down here and go to door two, I should be very close to the village. Some pixel art stuff. What a great descriptor. Why pixel art? Of all the things that could be put on a piece of paper. There's actually a company really close to where I go to school that I sometimes drive by, depending on which bus I take, that has a really interesting looking, like just a couple of scratches, but they're very pixelated looking. Like you can see the angles and it looks really interesting. It's just a thing that I saw and I thought it was looked cool. Going back to the village, picking up a couple of words. Okay, so it was Tara. There you go. Yeah, which one was those? Which? Hahara. Oh, let me guess, it's Go Palace. Yeah. Go 
You gotta be careful with your pixel art. Man, I'm way too mentally zoning out because of how tired I am. And then every single time this game decides to be freaking weird, I'm like, God damn it! And I'm back again. I'm a fish that refuses to spit out the hook, and every time I start jerking, I start throwing a fuss. A bar. Beetle guys like. Man, I wish the Beetleborgs were here. The big bad Beetleborgs. Big bad Beetleborgs. Bit back Beetleborgs. I remember that show. That was nice. Too bad I was in English back when I was in my baby years and couldn't read English. Ah, the baby years. When men were men and children were children. On the plus side, I didn't violate my diet today. I did yesterday, but I deserved it, because I passed that stupid pr project assessment crap. I had a reason to celebrate. Or as some people would say, to roll out the red carpet. And I know that's meant to say, hey, there's someone famous coming. But I like to pretend that that's just a lie. An illusionary roll. What is Musicom? As this thing that I keep pulling up. This is the Musicom. This is the Lexicom. Which should just be fucking Lexicon. Why would you make the M there? It's not a... Like, you can't have a pun that's just one character and it's very unnoticeable. Like, M and N. Um, P and B is also weak. You want your puns to be audible. Not to be just like, hey... Especially with N and M. Like, how the fuck do you keep M's and N's apart all that well? It looks so similar, too. Like, oh, it's a pun. I guess. Good job showing it to someone. They'll be like, oh, I don't care. Unless, of course, it was a typo. Because, weirdly enough, the N and M are close together on the keyboard. I can buy one of those real upgrades after this. We're almost there. What we gotta say is we gotta say we gotta go palace. And fight Tara. Uh, those likes are actually compiled over multiple viewing sessions. Most palace hahara. Uh, fights. Ooh ha. So you just sink in the he's blinking in the water. Golly gosh, I can't believe that guy's blinking in the water. Although, some animals have third eyelids. He probably has one of those. He thinks he's all he thinks he's all hot shit. He thinks he's the cool guy with the cool stuff and the cool crap. We're back at the library. Should I cut the stream now? The more I do procession, the faster this game is done. And I can be like, what am I going to do now?
I hate it how I just when I wake up tired like this, I just it never clears up. It actually clears up towards the end, usually, when I'm supposed to be going to bed. Because apparently I run entirely on irony. He is entirely self sufficient on a stream of self satisfied irony. Okay, so it's not the name. It's not 100% reason to remember the name. Going places, meeting people. How about you? I'm just stop fucking doing that. This dungeon is kind of weird, if I remember correctly. Yep, we're not supposed to be here. Yay, the ring powered us up. Ah, oh, there it is. There's uh, the diamond. Oh, I forgot. I'm also logged into Skype, so you're still going to hear those update messages. Not my fault. Oh, man, that attack upgrade is so nice. Oh. That is the bee's knees, my friend Delio. My buddy old pal, my chummy old chum chum. My spork. Look, half my marbles are fucking gone because this game doesn't do things properly. This is how Mario World did it, by the way. Mario World had goddamn hollow spaces everywhere. And the primary reason they did that is so that they could use the exact same background tile for background for, like, two-way stuff. Saving space with smart tips also fucks up your collision engine. God damn it. Have you already played Dark Souls 3? A little bit. As in, I started it up with the knight character and did the first boss, and then I was like, you know what? I'm way too afraid that I'll get invaded, so I'll stop now. Hmm. I think I could stream Dark Souls from this. Probably. Okay, so let's absorb this. Ha o. Ha o. Ha o. No, nah, no, I don't do modern games all that often. I usually wait a little while. And also, I I don't want to do Dark Souls because it makes me look like a chump and I don't like invasions and all that banana beans. Look at that goddamn face, man. Look at that man face! Oh, he thinks he's clever. He thinks he's all the beans. Ha oh, ha oh. Also, it also kind of depends on if they've already fixed the, uh, the bug with the bonfires where you can't pick any class other than the one. Or it breaks. Play Dark Souls 1, then. Ow. That that doesn't fix the invasion problem, either. There's still people on there, you know? There's always a risk. Especially now, when the chance of trolls is even larger. I don't know. I'm actually not that good with the, 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 the team compositions.
This is a really weird little icon, little spiky bed. Ha ho. Ha ho. Za. There is something of which the second note is za. And ha o oh, is for the triangle. Actually, I think I know exactly what it means. And I think I actually know what the combination is. But I can't do that because there will be sequence breaking. E, za, and ha o. Oh. Okay, I can't go in here yet either because I need the, the other combination. Have I been through this door yet? I think so. Ha oh. E za. Not to mention, I've played Dark Souls 1 so many times by now. I've seen it so many times, at the very least. I've seen it! I've almost beaten it once. But I've just seen it so much that I'm like, eh. The thrill of the fight is gone. So I will not con you to battle for our rivals or something like that. I always interpret it as Holy Diver instead of Eye of the Tiger. Don't know how I suddenly start skipping syllables, but that's not my problem. You know what? Fuck it. See if I give a damn. Ba -ba -ba -ba! We can now say Ka! If only we had Ke! Okay, now we know the combination. A tiny sequence break, just short enough to help out with never having to go back here. Yep. Ha, oh. You know what, maybe I'll stream Dark Souls 3 tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do 2, just to spite everyone who's like, Dark Souls 3 is terrible! I mean, Dark Souls 2 is terrible. Because there's a bunch of people who say that. INCLUDING ME! Let's do that now, because this is a very long sequence, and it SUCKS! This would be fine if it wasn't something you had to constantly do, over and over, for this long! And it hurts you. Oh, great! It's like, this sequence needed to be more annoying! This sequence wasn't stupid enough! God, couldn't have just have moved it down like a couple of blocks? No, no, they couldn't have. Because that would be game design. I will note, I have swapped back to the directional pad for movement. Ugh, this part sucks so I hate this so much. Apparently it's optional too, but. It's all about the money, money, money. It's all about the money, money, money.
You go ahead and clean your room. That's important. Tidy room is a tidy mind. Which explains why my room's a fucking mess. Oh, there! Come on! If you clean your room quickly, and do a good job, it shouldn't take too long, should it? Well, your room is not necessarily my problem. Oh, yeah, this is the double jump. I thought it would be the wall kick, but we get the double jump instead. That's lovely. Come on, dude. It's a freaking mess. Of course it's a mess! You're a human being! You have shit! And that shit needs to go places! And those places become used with space and stuff. Conservation of cleanliness and stuff. I will give him credit for a quite original double jump animation. Even if it makes zero sense, considering we got winged boots, not a winged spirit. It also cancels midway. Oh, this goes outside. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, this goes for some reason all the way back here. There is a key out here. I think it's the only time it does that. Because why not? How long would it clean, take to clean your room? Because we can just take a break. Cut in some slack. <sighs> ah, my arm. And my other arm. There you go. Do 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 going through the doorway, doorway, doorway. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs. Do 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 jumping up and down. Kind of weird, they use the exact same doors they used back in the library. Oh look, it's the alien from Alien! Hi, alien from Alien! You're named after the movie! What do you do? Oh. Oh look, it's another alien from Alien. Hi, other alien from Alien. What's with all these aliens? I thought this was fantasy. Oh, you can't attack after you do that. That's nifty.
But I don't have another key. Huh. Okay, there's some other place we have to go then. I remember the boss of this place isn't particularly fun though. I'm still a strong proponent of if you're gonna do something like if you're gonna do a key like that, tell me sooner, please. Just like put the locked door as soon as possible instead of having me walk halfway through your dungeon twice. Going through the doorway, doorway, doorway. Going down the staircase, staircase, staircase. Hoping to find a key. Don't know where it would be. Probably wouldn't be up there either, though. Doot doot! We got the thing that was up here. Thing that was over there. What are we missing? Seems like there should be something over here, though. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It is a chest! back down again uh, for some reason it's got to be a key around here somewhere better understanding of the situation. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Attaboy. E-the. Well, that's just a whole bunch of marbles. Well, fuck. Oh, it does help clear off a couple of things off the map. That much is true. kicker. So we got ha-ow. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Thought it was cute, though. Cutie old lizard pizzard. Maybe I missed something. Confirm to save. Would you like to confirm to save? Or save to confirm? <sighs> oh. Let's just have a look around. I think this was purely a combination, wasn't it? Ah, that was a chest.
Did I actually go in this door? This looks like it's the door that I didn't go through. God damn it. I'm missing a key somewhere. That's where I got the item from. Did I miss a password somewhere, maybe? And the only thing we really got access to was that one chest, right? Maybe it was over there and I just wasn't paying attention because I'm big dumb. Because I am a big dumb. Big old dummy dum dum dum. Dum de dum 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 dum. I'm kind of sleepy. I'm a big old sleepy head. up that door. There we go. It's all about the marbles, marbles, marbles. It's all about the marbles, marbles, marbles. Galileo. Because then I could do that one, even though I have no idea what's from or what it means. Slow as pop pushing makes for a good puzzle time. Everybody dance now. The outline sometimes breaks on her legs when she's pushing forward. That's kind of dumb. Should fix that. Doesn't look good. Especially because she seems to be going for a certain artistic style. It's Zoe Pam 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 Padillion. Let's have a lickety look see. Oh, no! That's so sad. That's just sad, Zoe Pam Pam Padillion. I like how the pot pushing animation doesn't even actually touch the fucking pot. It's like they cut all the corners they could. 
Finally, we got the final key. Now we can solve the ancient Chinese secret. Bam bam pedillion. Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh god, that was a bad swallow. <sighs> oh. 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 I like all these machines are all over the place, but they seem to have nothing to do with anything. They're just there. This is not what ambient storytelling is about, people. Wanna do the boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. So that's something I don't know yet. Okay. E Oda. What does Oda mean? Want. An Oda Orai. Orae. Means. Live Ika I want I assume it's I want live Can't find this one And then Orao. Want to live or die? Hmm. Oh, you want to live or die. Okay. Do I have or? No, I don't. But I can infer the meaning. I want to live. I guess, so that's the uh, thing we have to enter. We have to enter live, or orae. You can cheese this dungeon and never get the item if you just know that word. I want the circle, the circle of live! God damn it! Is that? Sa.
The only thing that's a frickin' mess is this game. Well, good. Going into the boss fight with very little health. That's always just great. Tara! That went really fucking fast. I don't know the boss fight just continued without me. I know how this goes, by the way. It's a rhythm game. Oh no, you have to do this too. I don't know why I have to do this. Actually, the only one of the few good parts of any boss fight actually is that one section with the rhythm. Even though it's like never done otherwise, it's really good and well done. You can actually switch size if you if you take too long on one end. The boss can turn around. Still, jump change! Chump <laughs> change. Ch -ch 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 change! This is always so big! You got an egg and way too much bloom! You want bloom? Here's all of the bloom. Drown in the light! It burns your eyes! If we go to the garden now or not, if we go off to the left, let's go to the garden. Get the book and then call the day. Wow. That means die, doesn't it?
Gonna need the wall kick for that one. Downward thrust, so we don't go over here then. Heck, that even goes back into the library again, huh? We start a fucking graveyard in all places. That's so rude. You want to see a graveyard, kid? I put your own corpse there. That's not disturbing in the slightest. What are you talking about? Chest. It's the next book. Hmm. <sighs> guess that next book. I think it's Iceland. Probably Iceland. Interesting. Four eight five is the word I'm actually looking for. Huh, who cares? the books all look the same until you come back here and you're like, oh, I guess it was a little bit wider. A little less green. Uh -huh. I can call it a day. Because I'm turd. Giant ass gorilla in the background. Hi, gorilla man. I guess we can go until I find the village, which I think I approximately know where it is. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, this guy is when we start meeting enemies that are just fucking bullshit. So this is how they work. You, you jump and you do a downward thrust, they, they instantly know. They know. They fucking know. 
Oh, and they just do it randomly, too, because why the fuck not? Why not just make enemies that are annoying to deal with, instead of being fair? It's like they learned everything out of Zelda they should have, to be fucking annoying. God damn it. As I've said before, the soundtrack is just some ambient garbage at best. Even that, it only does so-so. All these Christmas trees. I love them. Oh. So one thing I do like about Endless Legend is that every faction is so different. The cultists and the nomads, and the dust guys, the broken lords, they all feel fundamentally different. Yes, we get it. You can fucking cheat your ass off. And I, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore you. Dude! I literally did that last dungeon. You're telling me now. Me like moon. Zaza. Even lost it to the forest, not in the forest. Daffa. Yeah, next time we'll go and explore Iceland, I think. It'll be fun, they said. You won't regret it, they said. Ain't nothing wrong, they said. Oh, well, guess who's crying now? Me!